Oh my god. I don't have what uh, what the f am I supposed to do against them things? What are these? These aren't humans. What are these things? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, we're going to die. We're about to get eaten. Eated. Eated the fuck up. It is about to be bad. Let's just see what the death looks like, I guess, right? Guess I'm going over here now. Don't get down. Get up. Ah, get up. I think this is the first time we've seen something actually happen to her. My lungs and livers are all jacked up now. Yep, I ain't got no lungs. I ain't got no liver no more. Can't, can't, can't use me. <laughs> Get impaled ten times. I'm not... I'm not doing that on purpose. What kind of achievement is that? Alright, so it looks like I gotta switch between... Between the two, right? So, like, when he goes... Then I need to go up whenever he decides to leave. Right? That's what it is, I think. So, like, I go up. I ain't got no head, so they can't, it's not like they can see. No skip button either. I have to keep watching this. Nine times. Okay, get up. Go, 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 go. Leave me alone. I'm going. I'm okay. No, I'm not. Eight times. Don't get touched. Wait for him to pass by. Shit. Came too far. That would have been like, come down here and then go. Okay. I think I see it. Seven times. I think one of the things that makes the deaths more annoying and the these like moments a little bit more challenging is that you have to play through the cutscene. You can't skip them. And it just takes so much longer to get back into the game. Like you're spending a lot of time waiting for the, the scene to load back up. And that's that's annoying. So if I'm up here, let's just test some theories out, right? We're good there and we're good on this side. So when he moves forward, I have a little bit of time to come to the middle here. Try to see where they where they he let leaves off. Oh yeah, he goes all the way across the locker, so I have to I have to move. I don't have a choice. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. That's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. So I can come down here and go. But then like I have to go like here. I think I should be I I should be safe here. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see this next stage here. The one up top goes all the way across. I know that. Yeah. So when I come up, I need to go across this. Oh, is he coming closer to me? Yeah, I'm going to wait for this second one to go all the way across. And I'm going to come up. And then I'm going to go. Try not to die here. Get down here. Damn, too close. Too close, too close, too close. And it's not that far either. Not that far either. All right, six times. But when he's up there like that. I can now come this way, get down, go forward. I should have some safety room over here. Okay, now it's just about this guy up top. He is, he's also a stumbler. Good to know. I don't know how far he's going to go. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Should be the second time around when he turns back away. So he comes up, I go around. And then I should be able to get down. What are you doing? No. Get up. Get down. Get down. Okay. 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 Slingshot. All right. Well, we can't use a gun, so maybe we can use a sling. Nope. No, we can't. We're not. Whoa. Bibby? What was that about? Why is Bimmy down here? Why is this game stumbling? I don't understand why I'm having these these issues. Oh, we're looking for our star now. Are you kidding me? We have to do this again. It wasn't even that fun the first time, y'all. I don't really want to do this again. All right, fuck it. Uh, is that it? Is that it? Is it? Is that? Nope. That's just glass. Use that to protect yourself. Oh, we don't have to redo this level if we can't find this damn 
Brett. Um, what's this? That ain't it. Give me the sun. Where's the sun at? That's a bug. Aha, here you are. Found it. At least that one was a little bit easier. Thanks a lot, Bimmy. I oh, that's the bug that was down there. Really needed your helper. How do they hear us? What? They don't have heads. What are we? What? What's going on? They, what? We don't. Have, they, what? The whole purpose of that stealth level was that they couldn't hear us. We had to be touched. So we scream once, and now they change. Okay, whatever, man. All right. I'm not even upset about that. I just think that's a little, little. Uh oh. Not these things again. I suck at these things. Oh, it's just one. Okay, that's cool. I just don't understand why they started chasing this. I guess you had to find a way. Why is everything on fire? Who set the fuck? Things are just, we get free from the bed for no reason. They chase us for no reason. And now things are on fire down here for no reason. And I still don't understand the whole alternate Silent Hill thing, how that's happening. Freedom is right above you. Well, then I guess I should climb. But first, I want to make sure there's nothing of use on this right side. I trust that freedom's above. Even though last time you said freedom was ahead, Bimmy died. Will I get burned to death if I go into that? I feel like I will. I'm not going to go. Ah, frick it. Nope, we're good. Ooh. Hello, Mr. I. You're not going to stick a tindle, tindle down at me, are you? Nope. All right, just going to keep watching. It must be like a... Maybe that's representative of a camera. Up we go. Up we go. To the right. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm getting um, uh, 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 Lisa vibes. Lisa the painful vibes. Maybe just the 2D aspect of climbing up uh, platformer platform-esque areas. Oh, what the hell is that? I guess it's not platform-esque areas. It is just platform areas. What am I doing here? Oh, 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 I see, I see. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Too late. Hey, got impaled another time. That's five. Come on back down here. Oh, no, it's not impaled. This time it's fall to your death 10 times. I'm, I'm not falling to my death 10 times. I didn't get impaled 10 times. I'm not falling to my death 10 times. I will figure this out. But I guess I am still confused as to why Bimmy showed up in the first place. Like, was his whole mission there to scare us? So that we could drop our pendant and become almost death? Oh, not a lot of time to get to the top there. Okay. Pretty sure we need to move this, right? Yeah, because I can't get up there. Uh, I hate the, the, the climb feature sometimes on this thing. Oh, dodge that, dodge that. I see, I didn't know we could dodge that. Doesn't matter though, because I can't get to the other side. Okay, all right, okay. I'm figuring out what you want me to do. I got it, I got it. Oh God, move faster, move faster. Okay, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Ah, shit. Get up, 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 get up. Okay, we're in between. We should. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm not sure what, but. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Dodge, 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 dodge. Shit, shit, shit. I gotta stop standing there. Go, go, go. Let, let, let it go, girl. Get up. Get up. What are you doing? Get up. Oh my god. These controls sometimes piss me off. Ah. Hold the box. Let go of the box. Climb. Climb. Where am I supposed to go? I'm stuck here. Oh my god. For the first time, I'm not stuck. I think we're okay. Maybe. I don't know. Ah. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, that, that is a safe spot. Oh. Okay, there's a safe spot. Okay. Careful. Ah, shit. Yeah, again. All right, get up the box. Get up the box. Okay. Now, run. Please run. Stay still. Don't move. Wait, you can move. It's fine. As soon as he passes by there. 
Wait, 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 wait. Where's he shooting his shit out at? Oh, you assholes. There was nowhere to go on that box. That box was screwed from the beginning. That was a little close. It was a little bit not in the safe spot, not gonna lie. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're gonna move up, we're gonna move up, we're gonna move up. As long as we move up quickly, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 go. Again, again. Go, 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 please go get off the box. Get off the fucking box. Get off the box. Wait. 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 Go. Go. Get up the box. Get up the box. Get up the box. Oh, come on, dude. I got fucked there. I told her to get up the Why do I have to wait to get to the red spot to get up the box? I'm at the box. Get up the box. To be stuck. Messing around with these damn boxes. Get up the box. You can't stay on that. That's the problem is trying to get on that box quick enough to get to the second box. Because that's the only way you're going to survive. Because that entire box gets flooded with those damn tentacles. So, ah, uh, dude, that's a, that last box is going to be difficult to figure out, like, where I'm supposed to stand. Maybe not even supposed to stand on the... Maybe I need to, don't need to get on the box yet. Maybe that's the key. Oh, I went the wrong way. This is a dud. And it takes so, just so damn long to, um... The reset... Oh, that's not bad. I got up there. Do these hands move faster, like the faster I move? trying to figure out where I can go and where I can't go like that hand comes up right and then I'm like stuck here and then he sends his out and I'm stuck there I don't know where I'm supposed to go there hey I'm right here okay and then like I ooh ooh that's bad 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 okay 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 come on put your fucking tentacles away man uh oh that's trouble that's trouble that, oh, wait, I made it kind of far there, y'all. Kind of far. But also, I'm starting to wonder, can I walk through the tentacles? Like, are the tentacles safe? As I, I think I can walk through the tentacles. Have I been playing this wrong the entire time? I thought I couldn't touch the tentacles, period. But it's starting to feel like, as long as I don't get touched by the pointers, I'm good. I'm going to be really upset if I just found out that I can walk through these damn tentacles. Because that changes everything. I thought I couldn't touch the tentacles. Let's find out. Like, if I come up now, am I good? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. 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 Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, I walked right into that. Okay, game changer. I'm, no, I'm less upset now that I know I can walk through these damn tentacles. I'm upset that I haven't been trying that from the beginning. But in my defense, most times when things touch you that are tentacly, they're going to suck you up no matter if you touch the pointy end or the middle end. Keep me safe. I can move. I can return. The safe spots. Like, I know this is a safe spot, I think, as long as nothing comes flying out at me. Yeah, like, I can go this way now and go this way. Go up, go up, go up. Go up, girl, go up. You had all that time. What are you doing? What are you doing? You were safe. What are you doing? Wait for the tentacles to come out. Wait. Oh, it's another box. Great. That sucks. That really sucks. Uh-oh. Watch out for the tentacles, girl. Keep going. This is the furthest we've ever gotten. Can I get a checkpoint? Checkpoint is only fair. I deserve a checkpoint. I deserve a checkpoint. Please give me the checkpoint. Give me a checkpoint. Give me free. Oh my God. Why do we have another box? Why do we have another box to grab? Oh, it's so messed up if I get caught here. So messed up if I get caught here. Something fall on one of these hands, please. No, no, no. Why are the boxes so high up, dude? Come on. Can I get a checkpoint? Good, good, good. Let go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, get up. Oh, okay, even when they're coming down, you're good. Okay, it's just when they go out then. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Good to know. Okay, grab the box. Be careful, though. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Even if they're coming down, you're fine. Okay, get up, 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 get up. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. Wait, hold on. Okay, you're good there. You're good there. Whoa, wait, wait for that, wait, wait for that. Go, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, go, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. What are you doing? Go up. Oh my god, dude. I didn't see that I need to go to the right. Damn, bro. We were right there. We were right freaking there. Shit. That sucks. That's bad. I'm upset at myself. Go, 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 go. Grab the box, please. Careful, 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 careful. Kind of looks like 
the things from the thing or like slither and you know that's something i haven't said about this game is that the the, the creature designs look actually pretty cool terrifying like the, these hands with the shit uh flying out of them that's actually a pretty terrifying design same thing with the headless monsters were pretty cool even though they were pissing me off and i didn't understand why they were appearing now and not earlier on but uh okay we're almost there we're almost there okay w watch out for this hand watch out for that hand too watch out 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 okay let go go up go up you're out you're out you're out you're out you're out you're out you're out, you're out. Woo! yes yes thank you oh my god thank you Whew. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got out, we got out, we got out. What's going on in this world, though? This is no longer a normal world. Either she's... We've seen most of the deaths in this game. Um, What just happened there, and do I have to start all over? Main question, do I have to start all over? I don't know what just happened there. Did I get hit by something? And what's happening to the world? Is she losing her mind, or what's going on there? Keep moving, keep moving. Okay, I think I let go of the the left uh, D-pad, and that's what caused me to go flying backwards. I just understand what's going on in this world right now. Keep going, I guess? I don't know. Like, is, is she in a real world? Like, what? I thought this was just about human smugglers, but... I don't know, maybe our psyche's breaking a bit because of everything she's seen down there. Like, who the hell is that in the background that's digging through graves, like, looking for bodies? Hold on to it, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure that I, I understand the mechanic of this. Okay, I guess we missed the worst of it, right? We can go. Maybe. I don't know. Keep going. Like I said, not sure I understand the mechanic of it. Maybe when we get blown backwards, we have to grab that on the way back. My best guess. Almost there. Keep it rocking. Keep it rocking. What are those things in the background? And what are they looking for? Nice. Okay, just hold on until the next storm passes, I guess. That that one. That storm. Let go. And let's start walking. Get as far as we can get. I'm just so confused by, like, the story now. Because we went from human smuggling... Not even smuggling. Organ harvesting or, uh, organization to... Supernatural demons dissecting children for fun, and now the world's falling apart. Either 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 her world's either either her world is literally falling apart, or her mind is falling apart because of this ordeal she's went through, losing Bimmy and Gollum. More so Bimmy than Gollum, because I still think Gollum at the the job of a hat would have murdered us, but you know. He didn't. He saved us. Bimmy didn't even say this. Bimmy turned evil at some point. Bimmy was just like, I'm going to pop up to scare you. For no reason. What's not even to help us, just to, to haunt us for some. Maybe he blamed us for his, his death. I mean, we did make him go first through the grate, and we didn't really check to make sure the gate was grate was clear, I guess. I don't I don't know his logic. You got it, girl. How far are we going with this? Am I supposed to be picking up something from this? I'm supposed to be learning something from what's going on here? Uh oh, it's getting worse. Getting worse. Keep pushing. Keep, I wonder how fast these winds are blowing. Like, what is she walking? Like, 40 mile per hour wind? I mean, she's still on her feet, so I imagine it's not... It can't be above 60, right? Ugh, maybe even 40 is too much. I don't know. Okay, we're almost at a shack. One more. Again, I don't understand the mechanics of holding on to these things. Like, if, if I just kept going straight, would that have happened? Is it on a timer? Or is it only because I'm grabbing onto these things that it's going with the timer? I mean, with the, the wind. But I haven't had to use them outside of, you know, me just deciding to use them. Made it into a shack. Safety in my mind, I hope. I don't think this little TP is going to cut it against this wind, though. Found us. What happened to our eyes?
Okay, so this isn't her mind? It's definitely, that definitely seems to suggest this is her mind. Has she lost her eyes? Okay, somebody's in the bed. It seems like her and her dad are watching her mom. Her mom passed away. Are there words on the glass? There are words, but I can't read them. Oh, fragile. Her dad became drunken and she was fighting to get him up, which is interesting because remember in the beginning of the game during that little intro walk, we saw that kid that was like pulling at their, what I assume to be their parent that was like slumped over. So very similar to what she was doing. Now she's alone in the world and crying. Still not sure what happened to her eyes, but I'm sure they'll explain it here in a second. Interesting. Game is not going where I, I thought it was going. It's... What the hell is that? One of those bugs that she had on her arm earlier that she was freaked out by. Oh, it's her dad. It's got the pendant. It's got the pendant her dad wore. Am I supposed to shoot it? I don't know. Last game I played. The last, maybe I shouldn't have shot. I don't know. But the, the last game we played was Silent Homecoming and I didn't shoot the mom when I should have and she got stretched apart and ended up dying. So this time I'm shooting. It's going to be revealed to be her dad. I know because I saw the pendant. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have shot because of the pendant. Oh, I see. I see. I see. We shouldn't have shot. Ooh. Oops. So her mind had broken. Okay, I see. I see with the... Good job. Good job, developers. You got me. You got me. I shouldn't have shot. The bad ending. Get the bad ending. Damn. Sexual exploitation accounts for 79% of human trafficking and the majority of victims are girls. About 20% of all victims of human trafficking worldwide are children. In some parts of Africa and South Asia, the figure is as high as 100%. Wow. As of 2018, 80.2% of all victims of human trafficking are women. 56 are adults, 23 are minors, and 19 are men. 12 are adults, and 6.9 are minors. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. In terms of gender, the majority of victims of trafficking in persons under the age of 20 are women. In the police database, 519 rapes were registered in 2018. 444 in 2019 and 10 in 2018 and 9 in the first 9 months of 2019. 519. Like these are statistics I'm going to have to go back and reread because my mind isn't focused as much as it should be. Due to the fact that human trafficking is carried out in a clandestine manner, the victim protection system is weak and there is a lack of information about this type of crime. The number of cases is small and there's a lack of detailed information. It seems like a lot of info right there though. According to statistics from the General Police Department, between 2014 and 2019, 53 cases of human trafficking were investigated and nine cases were resolved by the courts. Just nine? Oh, wow. Starts over. Uh, wow. Not what I expected the ending to be about. I mean, clear, clearly, obviously, we're dealing with human trafficking there um it took on a very serious tone there at the end i guess the entire time it was a serious tone that i kind of lost sight of because i was so focused on playing the game that we are dealing with a very serious subject matter in human trafficking and especially as it's uh related to children and how many wow that's a that's, it's a really crazy high number to see that you know in some parts of africa and south asia that a hundred percent of human traffic victims are children that is just it's just wild to me that anybody would want to 
do something like that to a kid. Um, the one thing I do want to do is because obviously we caught it. I mean, we, I, I saw it. I called it out that the bug was her father. And I still chose to shoot. I don't know why. If I had logically been thinking through the storyline and everything that was happening, and I even said this is her mind fracturing, I would have known not to shoot. But I chose to shoot anyway. So we're going to load the chapter up. And, um... Oh, you assholes. They're not... I'd have to play through the entire game again. The entire game again to play that. Oh, that sucks. I, I want to see the good ending. I really really want to but i don't want to play through the entire game again like there's just too many moments like the games that are left to chance and and it's just like the screens of load that take forever that's that's unfortunate i really wish that i don't know understand why you would lock the chapters like i played the game like i, I deserve to be able to you know keep the chapters i unlocked why would i be forced to replay that entire thing again just to see a different ending that's that's really unfortunate i i i, I like the game too that's sad I feel like I got everything too in terms of notes that's really messed up that they don't let me just play the game that kind of that pisses me off just a little bit I I'm sure there's a video out there with the good ending man and you know I'm sorry that we couldn't put it on the channel I think it's really dumb that they don't let you just play from that last chapter even like I wouldn't even even minded to playing the boxes level again but to make me play the entire game again I'm not I'm not doing that so uh, thank you to everybody who have stuck uh, with this series. I think it's probably only, it's either one or two videos at most. But thank you for watching the series. Hopefully you enjoyed the video game. Um, the video game. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay as well as the commentary and just the playthrough. I thought this was a is a is a pretty this is a good game. It was it was an enjoyable game to play through. I'm not gonna pretend like it was the most fun game I've had. Um, but it was i did enjoy my time with it uh but we'll say final thoughts for the steam page thank you all so much for those who are leaving and not going to the final review again thank you for clicking on the video checking it out be sure to check out some of the awesome cool videos we have all around the channel remember that you can always feel free to drop a game in the suggestions well uh, i don't know why i screwed that up <laughs> remember you can always drop a game suggestion in the comment section below like so many other people have that's how we ended up playing friend not friend Bo, but sally face and lisa the painful and all the lisa series uh there's another game that somebody recommended that we played too right what was it um oh little misfortune was also a recommendation and there's some upcoming games that were recommendations so please feel free to do that especially people who click that subscribe button you have earned the right no you deserve the right to suggest a game for the series because you click the subscribe subscribe button so please feel free to drop a game suggestion in the comments below for everybody else i'll see you on the steam page for fragile all right so as you can see we are here on the steam page for fragile first thing i note is that these uh, reviews are mixed 322 reviews in there it's sitting at a mix which is interesting because i'd still call this game good i don't really have that many I don't know, complaints about the overall gameplay. My review would lean more positive than anything. I think the gameplay is, it's fine. I had moments where I enjoyed what I was doing. I think of note, the puzzles involving the safe, figuring out the number combination, that was fun. Um, <laughs> I said I enjoy gameplay moments. I can only think of one. Wait a minute. No, there was more. Oh, that puzzle. Figuring out like the sliding door, uh, like the sliding knobs and uh, what the answer is that they all need to equal 24. That was cool because I think what the, what the game does really good is it doesn't hold your hand. It puts you in this world and it pretty much says here are the elements that you need to put together to tell the story and also to progress. There is no hold hand. There's nothing that's going to like highlight. I mean, granted, there are buttons that say interact. But in terms of what you need to do with the things that you interact with, it's not going to tell you. And, you know, a majority of the things I feel like we pick up are just story and lore more so than anything else. Um, the negatives, and we'll start with the negatives for me, are the loading screens. I think the loading screens are horrendous. Uh, we need... <laughs> they need to find a way... To, to get rid of some of those loading screens because every time I go to a new level or move to a new section, I have to sit through a loading screen. That's ridiculous, especially in 2022. Every time, every time? Come on, man. There was way too many loading screens for this game. 
But um, oh, we're not going to go to positives yet. The other negative thing, of course, to me is the ending. I don't not the ending itself, but the fact that I can't go back and replay the ending. I beat the entire game. I put the necessary time in to play through all of the levels and complete all of the things that you presented me. I should be allowed to then go back and load up a chapter that I want to load up. Like maybe I want to go back and play the horse racing game. Maybe I want to go back and play the um, guess well, how many ankle bones are in the person's hands game. I should have to play through the entire game to do that. I've earned that right already. You don't then punish somebody for, for completing the game by making them have to play the whole game again. That makes no sense to me. Unless the game is going to be like drastically different, there's no reason that should be a feature because now you're just forcing people to play through your game again because you know they're going to want to see the true ending because nine times out of ten, people are probably going to pick the bad ending because they're going to shoot the giant bug that's racing at them. And that that's partially on me too because I did notice, like I said, that that was the cop or that was the father and I still chose to shoot. Part of that is I just came off of Silent Hill, uh, Silent Hill Homecoming. Like I said, I killed them all. I mean, I didn't kill them all when I should have, and it ended up being very bad. And that's actually how we ended up getting the bad ga ending on that game. I'm on a streak lately of getting bad endings on games. I usually don't do that. I usually get the good endings. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I think the other thing of note to me, and this just could be a controller thing, there is something finicky about the, the up not the up, I'm sorry, the moving left and right and the, the, the crouch button. For some reason, more times than not, not more times than not, but a lot of times I would be pressing the right button and my character would like crouch down. And like, that's not a big deal, right? It's not a game changer. It's not a, it's not a game, uh, it's not a deal breaker, but it is annoying. Especially like when you're doing something like the boxes puzzle where you're like trying to make your character go this way and instead of going that way, they're crouching. Those are precious seconds that'll get you killed. That, that's annoying, but I don't think that's on the developers. I don't know if it's just a controller thing. Like, I'm sure if I played on keyboard, I really wouldn't have that problem because, you know, things are a little bit more separated. But it just felt like, especially with the toggle, it was real finicky with the crouch and the left and right. I was crouching a lot more times than I wanted to. But that's all my negative. Not a lot of negative. Was that like three things, right? Cutscenes, ending, not being able to go back and choose my ending or play through like even just even even oh, I'm so upset about this. Even give us just the box level. Make us go through the box level again. That's plenty of content because you're going to through the boxes and then you got to go through the windy part, which is really long and just a bunch of walking um, that I, I wasn't really a huge fan of because there wasn't a lot going on. And even in the background, there was really cool scenery. But it's like, what more did that give us to the story? But that's not that to me, it's not a negative. It just it's a, what I'm saying is that those two things are long enough that I should have to go through them again. And then, of course, see her mind completely break and then choose my ending. I should have to play through the whole game again, you know, because this is this is a few hours, like three or four hours to beat this entire game. So ah, back to the positive, though, or to the positive cartoon style. I love the drawing of this game. I love I love how this game looks. It's got its style and it stays with its style in the entire way and it extends into the cutscenes. It literally feels like a children's book, which not only services the story, because the story is obviously one about human trafficking, especially related to children and how, you know, this this sick underground world that exists in our actual reality and the the danger, not the danger, but like the emotional or mm, I guess to me, just like how scary, you know, that it how scary it is that a world like this exists where people uh live and operate in abducting and you know either a harming children for you know organ purposes or for sexual purposes just the fact that this exists is it's terrifying and the game using a children's book to tell that story hits harder to me in telling that story because it's like oh look at the kind of like not bright colors but like the tone of of the world it's friendly it's inviting but oh in this friendly inviting world are these terrible people and terrible monsters doing these terrible things and i can i can really feel that so i, I like that that was a positive to me the the character designs maybe not so much the, pro, the main protagonist because honestly i've kind of forgotten what the main protagonist looks like uh she doesn't really talk that much nobody really talks that much that didn't stick with me but the monster designs I thought were really good and then also with the grotesqueness of scenes like seeing the doctors torn apart in the uh like medical wing or whatever where they operate on the children that was really good that was that was really really good i thought it was drawn really well and like really really homed in on the like oh this is a violent dangerous world so i love the way that things looked i love the way that the game looked the fun games to me horse racing and the hand granted they're random to me 
they're super random. I don't think there's like maybe maybe the hand one you can figure out through some kind of mathematical equation i'm not mathematically inclined so it would take me forever at some point i think i figured out a system but the system was mainly like if he chose eight i'm going five because he's obviously putting up a high number of ankle bones if he assumes that there's going to be eight out there total but i think that is a those two games are like good luck good luck we just got lucky and happened to beat him on the first tries so i'm humble brag a little bit humble brag a little bit but it's definitely feeling like it's a it's a lucky lucky turn for you story uh outside of the story like i already said i really enjoyed or it's hard to say enjoyed because the story is such a a gut punch right especially with our chosen ending but the mid game twist of taking this young boy who we had said multiple times why is he now the lead character when the game has this girl as the front like for a second i was like oh man this game's got some sexist issues right because it's like as soon as we get the boy character take charge boy you got it now it's your game instead of laura croft we got indiana jones and then you know he obviously does not have a happy fate by the end of it that to me was really cool though because it took me out of it took me off guard because i was expecting immediately for something to happen to the boy i didn't think he was gonna get into the dumb waiter and then when we took control of him, i was like oh in the second level they're gonna snatch his little ass up no we got to play for him for a good little bit relative to how long the game is and then to see him get snatched up and then just ripped apart uh wow Hey, good job, because that took me by surprise, and you love something that takes you by surprise. It makes the game more fun, and it makes you more inclined to want to play through the rest of it, because you're like, oh, what else can they do to get me off guard? Like a good horror movie, right? Like when you've seen all the tropes, you're like, oh, wait, nope, the killer's in the closet. Here he comes. Yep, there, told you, killer was in the closet. She's going to run upstairs instead of going outside. Yep, look, what? Upstairs and tripped. Instead of, you know, like a movie like uh, Hereditary, and I know people are probably tired of hearing about Hereditary because everybody talks about Hereditary now. But truly, seeing that movie for the first time with no expectations how I saw it, and then seeing the little girl, spoilers for those who haven't seen Hereditary, give me five seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Where she gets a little, where the main protagonist, as we think it is, gets her head knocked off. That soon, you're just like, oh, oh, this is a different story. This is not what I was expecting. Granted, after that, I think the movie becomes... It's still great to me. I love that movie, but obviously it's a little bit more cliche after that. But that moment alone is just like, oh, we are in for a ride here. We're in for a good ride. And that's how I felt about the the whole boy. Uh, what happens to the boy, even though it's, it's really sad uh, how it goes. But it also establishes that this world is not to be played with. Like, uh, not to say that no character is safe, because obviously they didn't kill the main character. But just to say that, like, there are stakes to what's going on in this world. People will die, and these people do have evil intentions for these kids. Um, I was going to sit here and say that I don't understand the monsters. I guess that's not true. Clearly, it's her having a mental breakdown. And because she's having this mental breakdown, not only from what's going on to her currently, but what's happened to her in the past with her mom, she's seeing these regular people as monsters. So that that's kind of the clear thing there. So at the end, whatever was chasing us seemed more like, I guess, I don't know what that would actually be representative. Like, were they throwing knives at her? Like, what were they doing to capture her? Maybe stabbing at her or something? I don't know. But overall, I think the game is it's good. It's not great. It's not like I said, I'm not anxious to go play it again, um, but it's not bad. I don't think it's I think it's how much is this? Nine ninety nine. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair price. It's weird to tell people how much you should charge for your game, right? It's your creative work and you value it how you should value it, right? Because only you know how much time and effort you put into it and what would be worthwhile the effort monetarily valued. Did I say that right? Did that, did that make sense? I mean, the comments below if that didn't make sense. But I think $9.99 was a fair price. I'm not mad that I paid $99 for the game because, like I said, I think it is a good game with just some some little annoyances. We'll call them that. There's some little annoyances sprinkled throughout. But I'm going to stop that there. Thank you all again so much, so much. I know I'm saying it a lot, but that's because I mean it. Thank you. Thank you for watching this playthrough of Fragile. Um, there is more. This is the police, too. I enjoy playing that game, so we're going to finish that. That's also up on the channel. But there's some other games that are coming, too. I think we've got an RPG maker real, real, real soon. So I'm looking forward to playing that. And then we've got another old school throwback that's coming up. And then I think we got some new games that was recommended. Uh, Abduction. That's the one. I said it earlier. That's also coming up here. So we get some cool games in the pipeline. And we can have even cooler games if you decide to drop it in the suggestions. Damn it, I did it again. The comments box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, the gameplay, the review. Leave your comments, thoughts, and review in the uh, comment section below. I'll be sure to read over them and you know post them in another video. Because remember, all comments get posted in one of these videos. 
I don't know which video because sometimes we shoot out of order, but one of these videos has your comments in them somewhere. So go find it. Go on a treasure hunt and find it. Let me know when you find it. Actually, that'd be really cool. If you find your comment, post it in the comment section below. Let me know where you found it. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll do something cool for you. Thank you all for watching. This is another episode of Narrative Gaming. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Deuces! I'm